Hey everyone, I'm Ka-Ching Song, Fusion 360 product manager, and I'm here with Jake. Hey, Jake Fowler. I'm a user experience designer on Fusion 360. Yeah. We're going to spend some time today going over the new toolbar UI. Uh-huh. And uh, you've probably seen the guide that, the quick guide that we posted on our blog. Well, this is a video all around showing you guys what the differences are. Right. And we're going to show it live. I have the old toolbar. Yep. And I'm running the new toolbar. So the idea of this will be, Kachin will show you something on the old toolbar and we'll try to explain how that maps to the new tab yeah. toolbar world. Yeah. So hopefully this will be helpful and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay. First difference are the workspaces and how we've broken those into tabs. So in the current or old toolbar, you have the model workspace and that's where you have all your modeling tools and your sketch tools. And then in the workspace switcher, there are a total of nine workspaces. Model, generative design, patch, sheet metal, render, animation, simulation, manufacture, and then the two drawings environments, design, drawing from design, drawing from animation. Right. Now, that's a bit different in the new toolbar. Right. So when you open the workspace switcher in the new toolbar, you're going to see design being the default workspace. Mm. And then a lot fewer workspaces here. Yeah. So design, generative design, render animation, sim, manufacturing, and then those drawing access points. Right. Um, so the big other change you'll notice here is that we now have tabs yes. in the toolbar. So what we've done is we've consolidated some of those workspaces as tabs within the modeling mm -hmm. environment, within yeah. the design workspace. So we have solid modeling tools, surface modeling tools, which is what you previously had in that patch workspace. Yeah. Uh, sheet metal tools, and then we have a general kind of tools uh, tab that represents the things that are kind of generic across those sure. different See tool See 3D sets. prints in there. 3D printing, Make, got the add-ins, yeah. things like that cool. in this general tools tab. So some of the other workspaces will have tabs as well. So if we switch to the simulation environment, um, you have setup and results. There are two separate tabs yep. inside of simulation as well. The next thing to talk about is uh, contextual tabs, which is this new concept we've introduced. Yes. Today, when you create form, for example, uh, create form essentially allows you to uh, kind of freeform organic shapes and uh, sculpt them in different uh, in different forms. If I click on create form today, uh, I'm entering this sculpt workspace, right? So if you go to the workspace switcher, you'll see you've got sculpt here, and then now I've got access to all my uh, form tools and edit form. What's that like in the new toolbar? Yeah, so we have the same button in the tab toolbar now, but it behaves very differently because mm. uh, what we've tried to do, as we say, is combine all of those modeling tools into a single workspace. Sure. So when you start this now, you're staying in the same workspace, you're staying in the design workspace. But we've pushed you into what we're calling a contextual tab. So you see that by the kind of blue highlight? Yes. This represents that you're in kind of like a, a temporary mode where your tool set changes sure. is different. And you can see that this highlighted finish form button is the way to get out of that mode. Yeah. Um, now we've renamed sculpt to form because form. that matches what the button was called. Previously it was called create form, but it took you to the sculpt workspace. Yeah. Now create form takes you to the form tab. That makes and, sense. Yeah. yeah. And then if you're also still in the design workspace, because exactly. it's still part of that yeah. workflow. Yes. Awesome. So yeah, so just like form does, if you do a create mesh, that's going to take you to a contextual mesh tab. Yeah, okay. It behaves in the same way. You're still in the design workspace. Do your mesh workflow and then finish mm -hmm. mesh takes you back into the previous that makes set sense. of tabs. Yep. And uh, then I think in the guide, we mentioned that uh, base features like this, uh, create PCBs like this. Right. There's a number of other environments behave like this where you go in a contextual tab, you do your thing, and then you come out. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show base feature quickly because yep. that's got an interesting... Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, good point. So when you create a base feature, um, this previously had like solid and surface tools. Mm -hmm. So now we're giving you two contextual tabs here. You've got base feature solid and base feature surface that are broken down the same way as the solid and surface tabs are in the regular bundling environment. That makes sense. And again, hitting finish takes you out of there. Cool. Uh, the sketching environment has also gone through quite a bit of improvement. Yeah. So we should talk about that. Let's do it. In the old toolbar, if I am in the model workspace, um, I can go to create sketch, select a plane, and then now I'm in the sketch mode. Now what wasn't very obvious to a lot of new users trying to learn Fusion 360 is 
there wasn't any clear indication of uh, what environment you're in. So what we've seen a lot is people trying to sketch something and then move on to making it 3D and not realizing that they're still in sketch. And then also, you didn't have a lot of room to add your tools up to the toolbar because uh, you still have all your modeling tools here. So what does the new sketch behavior look like in the new toolbar? Yeah, sure. So um, in the new toolbar, you hit create sketch and then pick your plane as you did before. And that takes you into a contextual tab for sketch that's a little bit different to those other oh. contextual tabs that we talked about because it's alongside the other tabs you have. Yeah. Um, the idea of that was to allow you to kind of seamlessly move between modeling and sketching because that's the kind of natural workflow of sure. using the sketch tools is you make a shape, then you extrude or evolve it mm -hmm. into 3D and then go back and do some more sketching. So we wanted to make that very fluid so we didn't present sketch as a standalone tab. Yeah. So it's alongside the others and you can, you can switch still, back. But yeah. this blue highlight indicates that you're still in that sketching mode, which goes to one of the things you mentioned of like knowing when a sketch is active and when it's not. Um, the other nice thing about having this as a separate tab is that you get this full width mm -hmm. toolbar to put all your sketching tools. So by default, we're giving you lots of extra tools here that we didn't give you access before. Yep. Another big change here is we've taken the constraints that were in the sketch palette and we've moved them into the toolbar as well. Um, this is nice because it maps to where you would expect tools to be. Yep. Also means you can now uh, assign keyboard shortcuts to all of your constraints as well. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Because then if, you, if there's one that you use a lot, then you can assign a key and then just use the key to, to invoke it, which is nice. Right. So by opening the constraints tool, yep. hitting change keyboard sc shortcut, you mm -hmm. can apply a keyboard shortcut to one of those, or all of those constraints. Yeah, nice, okay. And it behaves the same as the other tabs in that when you hit this finish sketch button, you'll finish the sketch, mm. or you can just go straight, if you've drawn a sketch, you can go straight into here, and using some of the 3D modeling tools will kind of implicitly finish the sketch for yeah. you. Yeah, shortcuts, everyone loves shortcuts. I do. I do too, and uh, we've made it better. So let's let's dig into that. Mm -hmm. In the old UI, if I press S key in the model workspace, I can basically search and add my favorite model uh, tools into this shortcut menu. Uh, this is really workspace specific. So if I go to patch and press S key, I get my patch tools in here. If I go to sheet metal and press S key, I have sheet metal tools in my shortcuts. Um, now with the introduction of tabs in the new toolbar, uh, what does that look like with S key? So the way we've done this in the tab toolbar is um, we've broken it down per workspace, not per tab. Mm. So because we've merged all those workspace, those previous workspaces together into tabs, mm -hmm. you can now access those shortcuts no matter what tab you have. Yeah, open. okay. So if I hit the S key in the, in the design workspace, I get solid modeling, surface yeah. modeling, uh, sheet metal here, even some sketch ones, which you could do before. Right. All inside the single design shortcuts. Because those are tabs in the design workspace. Right. Yeah. And I can switch tabs and I get access to the same tools here Got as it. well. But also uh, for contextual tabs, contextual tabs still have their own shortcuts. Right. That's true. So if I go into create form, let's say, mm -hmm. now when I hit the S key, because you're in a mode where only uh, form tools are available to you, we've change that shortcuts to become a form specific set of shortcuts. Right, okay, cool. And that's still the same in the old one. So that carry, that um, behavior carries over, right. so yeah. nice, okay. So uh, something yeah. else we've done related to shortcuts is we've brought those into the right click menu. Mm. So we've tried to simplify the right click menu, just make it a bit more simplified and minimal and yeah. like easier to use. Sure. So when I right click now in tab toolbar mode, um, we don't get a long list of stuff, but we do get access to those shortcuts that you assigned with uh, the S key. Yeah, yeah. So anything you put in that S key menu is now going to show up when you do a right click cool. in the shortcuts fly out. Ah, uh, okay. So in the old toolbar here, when I do a right click, yeah, you don't see the S key. You just see a bunch of flyouts for the same panels that are in your toolbar. And um, yeah, I feel like this is a better change because we one we haven't seen a lot of people use those flyouts right. from the right click. And this just makes it, uh, again, it gives you another access point to all your favorites. Exactly. All right, I hope that was helpful for you guys. And um, keep an eye out for uh, when we're going to make this official. It is becoming official soon. Yeah, very soon. Very soon. We highly encourage you to, to try it out, use it, get familiar with it. Yeah, this is a big change, but, you know, we've been working on this for a long time. And yeah. we think this is, like, going to improve the experience a lot. So we're really excited about 
everyone getting their hands on this and this being the new fusion experience. Yep. And if you guys have questions about the differences, if you have any uh, comments around this, uh, let us know in the comment section. Um, give me a shout on social, wherever. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time. First difference. Workspaces. Oh, sorry. Was that my cue? <laughs> <laughs> so, there... Uh, the next thing to introduce is this concept of contextual tabs that we've introduced. That I've introduced. Introduce it. Introduce... Intr sketch is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the sketching environment is also quite different uh -huh. and improved in... Mm. The <laughs> <laughs> now what? I'll take... <laughs> <laughs> now what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.